let's talk to people and encourage them that some of the great men in the Bible had doubts. Yes. Talk about John, John the Baptist. The Baptist yeah. I mean, here he is. He's a cousin to Christ, basically. He's in prison. He expects Jesus to get him out of prison, just like people expect miracles today. He was expecting one. And he sends a delegation to Christ and politely asks, are you the one that we should look for or should we look for another? What he was saying is, Jesus, I thought that you were the Messiah. So are you or aren't you? And Jesus uh, sends back and says, tell John, you know, that the dead are being raised, the blind are seeing, and so forth. And then Jesus said this, blessed is he who is not offended because of me. I like to give it my own Lutzerian paraphrase. Blessed is he who does not stumble over the way in which I run my business. Blessed is the person who does not doubt simply because I don't do what they think a good God should. Blessed is the person who does not doubt because I don't answer prayer or do a miracle that they are expecting. Blessed is the person who goes on believing no matter what. Now, as far as we know, John the Baptist probably died with his doubts, and yet Jesus said that among those who are born of women, there is none greater than John the Baptist. So I would say to people today that if you're having doubts, that's not so bad. As long as your faith, however small it is, however wavering it is, as long as your faith is in Christ alone, that's the important thing. And if your faith is in Christ alone, your faith you all the way from this earth all the way to heaven.